All right, what's up, everybody? This is Lyle with No Hippie Barbecue, and I'm here with Mason. Hey. And I so was watching Daddy Cooks last week, and he did a video about some braised short ribs, and it kind of made me think about what I wanted to do. And I have some uh, beef short ribs, and what I'm planning on doing is either, now it kind of depends on, on how I'm feeling, like actually tomorrow's when we're going to finish this, uh, if I'm going to make some uh, braised tacos or if we're gonna go with like a, a slider so anyway I'm gonna bring the camera in you can take a look at uh, what our ingredients are what we are gonna be using today is we got some beef chuck short ribs bone-in so we're going with a couple packages on those we are gonna go ahead and open those up and get these in the skillet and we're just putting these in here actually hold off on those just leave those there we're just gonna apply our rub in this we are going to be using this uh, beef lamb olive oil. Basically, it's an olive oil that's supposed to be tailored towards beef and lamb. So this is going to be one of our ingredients. This is, I don't know if you saw my cherry date habanero video, but we're going to be braising it in this liquid along with some wine and some Mediterranean rub that uh, we have. So I'm going to go ahead and start this now. Mason, you can get your fingers all up in here and just kind of rub all that oil in there real good. Okay. And while you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle some of this stuff on here. Keep going. You just you do what you got to do. You don't have to worry about what I'm doing. And what we're going to do on this is we are going to get this out. Don't rub the rub off. Make I'm sure trying to rub it all on. around. All right. We are going to get this on a smoker. So we are actually going to smoke this before we braise it. So I'm going to get this on the smoker probably for... Turn that one over. Probably for... And the other side. Probably for about four or five hours. It's going to be fully cooked. But when we braise it, I'm going to braise the hell out of it. I want it to be fall off the bone and this should be perfect for some tacos. We're gonna have some sweet, we're gonna have some heat. So that is it. So we're gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of these uh, short ribs and uh, next time you see us we're gonna be out at the smoker getting this on. Hey everybody, So we are back and we are about to get these uh, short ribs on this smoker. We're probably gonna go about five hours on this bad boy so go ahead and get them on the smoker. And try to get them close to each other because I bought some andouille sausage I want to get on there as well. And I don't want to put it on the lower right. Fat side down, Mason. Fat side down? Okay, you want bones? And the one thing that my son could do is learn to speed things up just a little bit. Try to make sure you get everything done. Once. All right, that, that makes sense. Actually, no, it doesn't really matter. Go ahead and just slap it on. Rather do it right and be a little bit slower than do it. All right, so happy. actually, it doesn't matter what side's up and which side's down. We're just trying to get some smoke on this right now. I have some hickory in this smoker with a little bit of lump charcoal. Like I said, we're going to let this go for about four or five hours to get it cooked, and then we're going to braise it. One thing I didn't mention is that we're going to be uh, adding a little bit of uh, wine to that braise sauce as well anyway we'll check you back in about five hours and uh do you got anything else to say nah man i'm fine Hopefully i guess he's fine this. all right see you later peace got these um beef short ribs i smoked those for about i uh, went about four and a half five hours on them uh so they are technically cooked uh so typically when you're going to braise something you're going to want to brown it maybe add flour stuff like that since these are already cooked and they are brown, we don't need to worry about browning them. So now, also we're not going to add a roux because I am going to make either, like I said, some beef uh, tacos or some beef sliders out of this stuff. So uh, I guess if you read the title of the video, you know what it turned out to be. But anyway, here's what we're going to do. I am going to... I did. I made my little homemade like slaw for a little slaw review. I have some leftovers of that. That's really not necessary. But I'm just going to throw that in with 
a few habaneros just because you know I got to get my heat on. Habaneros are uh, optional carry pee. You don't have to put them in. So we're going to go with that. I have some beef base here. Or just some beef bouillon. And then, if you saw my last video, cherry date habanero glaze, we are going to add that. So I'm going to get this just below cover. Actually, might as well just throw the rest of that jar in. Use all that up. Alright, so what we are going to do is I am going to get this in the oven at 325 degrees until this is fall off the bone tender boy so we're gonna pick it up when this is uh, done cooking down like I said 325 for about uh, I'm thinking it's gonna be about two and a half or three hours but you know what as long as it takes so again I am doing this for either sliders or for tacos so Everything that I've added, you don't necessarily need. You could cook this in salt water and then pull off the, uh, you know, not a whole bunch of salt, but you get the point. And then just shred the beef, you know, or cut it later on for whatever you're making. Anyway, I'm getting a little long-winded. I'm going to go ahead and get this in the uh, oven. I'm going to get some foil on that because sometimes when you buy stuff on Craigslist, you know, you can't buy the whole thing. You know, I bought this set here. This, uh... Dutch oven with two of these skillets for $20 so sometimes you can't complain about what you have and don't have so I'm gonna cover that with foil and give it an oven we'll check back later Our braised beef right here you know I was thinking about adding some damn I was thinking about adding some wine to this and I was glad I didn't didn't want to waste that money but uh, here goes our braised beef and actually I am not too concerned with the uh, the liquid that's in here. I will probably use some of it depending on what the beef looks like after I shred it up. But this beef or this uh, sauce in here was merely just for flavor. So what I am going to do now is I am going to take this beef out of here and just kind of set it aside and let it cool down once it's cooled down we are gonna shred this stuff up and make some uh, you know I think we're just gonna go with the tacos I already got this guacamole and uh, some uh, pico de gallo or pico de gallo if you happen to want to be saying that correctly but uh, man that looks good so this little stuff in here I may actually use some of this like in the beef you know down the road but uh, that's a little habanero piece right there that's like giving all kinds of flavor and when you see this later on I already got my pico de gallo made I already got my guacamole made and we when we add peppers to our stuff here we do not de-seed the seeds is where all of that heat comes from that we love around here so we do not de-seed anything so I'm gonna let this stuff cool off we're gonna get to shredding it we just got the bone taken off of these uh, braised short ribs and I'm gonna tell you that that sauce is like incredible and it's not gonna be a traditional taco by any means but that uh, cherry uh, that cherry date glaze that I did with the habaneros was that I mean it turned out great so anyway now Mason is gonna go ahead and uh, start cutting this stuff up and we're just kind of looking for a rough chop on that he's trying to cut off any like obvious fat that's going to be on there but uh that's pretty much all that is going to be going on here so we're going to get this cut down and then it's going to be time to uh i don't know what he's doing here but try it's going to be trying to get the fat first because then, okay. then i know what to cut and what not to cut all right so i guess sometimes you got to listen so anyway uh We'll be back once this is uh, once this is done getting cut up. This beef's cut up, and we're gonna chop that up a little bit more. But we just wanted to go through some of the fat on that. So that's our beef right there, that's been braised in that uh, cherry date habanero sauce. Now Mason's gonna go ahead and throw some uh, these tortillas in this skillet, 
And basically we're just trying to look to uh, basically just uh, we don't want them crumbling once they're cooked so he's just going to kind of lightly brown them on both sides. Then once we're done cutting up a little bit that meat a little bit further we may add a little of that sauce to it. It doesn't look like much but that stuff is actually really good tasting. So anyway next time you see us we will be down to our taste test. So uh, showing off some of that guacamole and uh, some of that pico de gallo or pico de gallo as they like to say. See you then. We got this uh, beef kind of cut up a little bit more so it's time to start making these tacos. And like I said we got a little guacamole you know nothing special we kind of lit that up. You know, we just kind of did that real fast. We got a little pico de gallo or pico de gallo if you want to be correct about it. And now it's time to start building these tacos. So uh, here I'll go ahead and throw some of yours. Throw some of that on there. Perfect. Go ahead and get some of your sauce on there. I'll get some of this guacamole on here. Thank you. So now it's going to be time to See what's up with this uh, taste test. Mm -hmm. All right, so here we go. This is what's up. So what's up? Meat came out perfect, nice and smoky flavor, perfectly tender. You can definitely have that pico of habanero in there. Guacamole is perfect. The pico de gallo is nice. Everything's nice and spicy just the way we like it. And it's a little sweet because I used that cherry habanero day glaze. Mm -hmm. I thought I was going to add some more of that sauce, but I'm going to end up tossing that out. I just cooked the meat down perfect. Anyway, thanks for checking out this uh, braised short rib taco video. I appreciate it. Comment. Subscribe. Take a look at my next video because I got a bunch of them coming up that should be some good stuff. So we'll see you then.